Welcome back to History on a Hog. I'm Captain Boss. So, as we saw in Port 4, Coronado had had enough of the hunt to find gold, deciding to end his expedition upon reaching the confluence of two rivers near what we call today Junction City, Kansas. After two years of wandering around the Great Plains and finding literally nothing, he turned the expedition around and headed back to New Mexico. And then ultimately, he headed back to Mexico City. He would live out the rest of his life in Mexico City as a broken man, both physically and spiritually. I thought the story would end there, but that's not quite true. One last thing, it's about Friar Juan Padilla. Remember him, the Catholic monk who had accompanied Coronado on this expedition? Padilla had accompanied Coronado back to the Spanish settlement in New Mexico, and then remained with the local natives after Coronado had departed from Mexico City. Padilla wanted to return to Quivera as a missionary, and he was determined to finish what he had started on the Coronado expedition to convert Quiverans to Christianity. In the fall of 1542, Padilla prepared for the journey on foot of more than 1,000 miles, and he would take three fellow monks with him. Their course was more direct than Coronado's first route, beginning on the river above present-day Albuquerque and passing through Pecos and to the northeast, probably entering Kansas near the southwest corner and proceeding on to the land of Quivera. They safely reached their destination near Junction City and were well received by the Native American tribe. If you recall, Coronado had erected a cross at one of the villages and that's where Padilla began his missionary work, essentially creating the first Catholic church in North America. In early winter of 1542, Friar Padilla decided to leave the Quiverans to seek out other tribes that might be converted into the church. He departed Quivera with a small group, and interestingly, against the advice of the Quiveran elders, who were concerned for his safety. At more than a day's journey south of Junction City, near here, present-day town of Council Grove, Kansas, Padilla's party encountered a war party of local natives. Some say they were of the Wichita tribe. And it was here that he was killed because of his faith. His death was noteworthy, among other reasons, as he became the first Christian martyr in what is now the United States of America. This cross on this hill, southwest of Council Grove, Kansas, is purportedly the location of his grave. But this is not the end of the story. There is some controversy as to exactly where Friar Padilla was killed and later buried. Another town not too far from Council Grove also has laid claim to the final resting place of the Catholic monk. I'm in Harrington, Kansas, 
about 25 miles west of Council Grove. And this town makes its own claim for a Padilla Memorial location. They believe that Padilla was murdered here and subsequently buried here in Harrington, Kansas. The two towns have had a bit of a squabble as to who has the accurate location for Padilla's burial site. In any case, Harrington has created a wonderful park here in the middle of their town. Beautiful. And they've named it Father Padilla Memorial Park. No official record exists as to the exact location of the Padilla burial site, so neither of these two locations can be verified, but both locations are within 25 miles of each other, essentially in the same central Kansas region. So in the end, the thing that's important is not where he died, but the fact that he was here in the name of his faith, and he would open the door for Christianity in North America, all due to the vision and leadership of Francisco Coronado. Before I wrap this up, I'd like to show you the route I followed while researching this story. So, let's take a look at the map so you can see the places I visited and where they're located. During my trip to the Midwest, I remained in Kansas, so I did not venture outside the state boundary, so my route will reflect that. If you have the time, go ride Coronado's entire route through Oklahoma, Texas, and New Mexico. I started my ride in the southwest corner of Kansas. At the locations historians tell us, Coronado crossed into modern day Kansas at the city of Liberal. If you remember, the State Historical Commission has erected a statue of Coronado there, commemorating this event. So, this is where I will start on the map. By the way, the city of Liberal also has a Wizard of Oz museum, literally across the street from the Coronado statue. So, if you have some interest, go check that out. As you leave Liberal, pick up Highway 54 northbound until you reach Mineola, then turn onto Highway 283 north towards Dodge City. Continue following it until you intersect with Highway 400, just south of Dodge. As you follow Highway 400 east, you will pass by the historic Fort Dodge, and about two miles further east, you will run into Coronado Cross Park, where the first of two cross monuments in Kansas is located. This cross commemorates Friar Padilla's celebrating a Catholic Mass of Thanksgiving after the Coronado expedition safely crossed the Arkansas River. When you're ready, get back onto Highway 400, westbound this time, backtracking towards Dodge City. Work your way northeastward until you intersect Highway 50 North, which morphs into Highway 56 again. Follow Highway 56 through Larnard, and then follow it east at Great Bend, about 30 miles east of Great Bend on Highway 56, you will approach a roadside rest stop where you will notice the second cross monument erected in honor of the Coronado Expedition. It is said that the first Catholic cross was erected here on the North American continent. Get back on the road and continue east into Lyons. And at the center of town, take a left onto Highway 14 North and follow it to Genesco, Kansas. What appears to be in the middle of nowhere, you will approach a four-way intersection. Take a right here and pick up Highway 4 eastbound until reaching Lindsborg. As you approach Lindsborg, take a left onto 13th Street or Coronado Ave and follow it north for about four miles. As you ride north, you will see the significant hilltop in the distance. 
This is Coronado Heights, where Coronado set up his camp for several months as he dealt with the Quiverans. Be advised that once you leave Coronado Ave, you will be traveling on gravel and dirt roads all the way to the top of the heights. So take precautions as you ride this. When you're ready, get back onto Highway 4 in Lindsborg and follow it northward all the way into the city of Salina. Continue through the city and on the north side of Salina, take a right onto Old Highway 40 eastbound. This road essentially follows the Smoky Hill River towards Junction City. And this would be the route Coronado would have essentially followed as well. Continue to follow Old Highway 40 towards Junction City, where you can stop and see the confluence of the Smoky Hill, Republican, and Kansas Rivers. This would be the northernmost limit of Coronado's expedition and the place where he decided to turn for home. It is also the location where Friar Padilla would return to and set up the first Catholic church. When ready, pick up the highway that will take you towards Council Grove, Highway 57 South. Remember that Council Grove is the location where Father Padilla was killed and where his burial site is located. Follow Highway 57 South until Dwight, Kansas. Then, get onto Highway 4 East for a short time, and then turn right onto Highway 177 South and follow it into Council Grove. The Father Padilla burial site is located approximately 1.5 miles south of Council Grove, off of Highway 177. Turn right onto 900 Road and follow it for about two miles until you encounter the memorial on the hill. Two things. First, again, the road is mostly dirt and can be very muddy if it's been raining. I know, I found out, so be careful if you ride this road. Second, the burial memorial site is located on private property and you are not allowed to climb the fence and go to the top unless you get prior permission from the landowner. But it's still worth the trip to see from the side of the road. Lastly, before we bring this ride to a close, you should head over to Harrington, Kansas to the Father Padilla Memorial Park. Remember, Harrington was the other town to lay claim that Father Padilla was killed there, and so they too have erected a significant memorial obelisk to commemorate this event. To get there, pick up Highway 56 west out of Council Grove and follow it for approximately 25 miles. The park is located in the northwest corner of the town. They really have done a wonderful job in maintaining it. Definitely worth the trip. This will bring the route to an end. So, you are on your own after Harrington. I hope you enjoyed this story of a Spanish conquistador in Kansas. As I researched the Coronado expedition, I was further drawn into this fascinating adventure. I hope you were too. And please stay tuned. I am hard at work at putting together another series that you will find interesting. So keep an eye out. And thanks for watching History on a Hog.